This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Shopify questions or tasks on demand. Hi, everyone. So the question is, how do I see if someone makes a order, creates an order in my Shopify when I'm using test mode? And do I include credit card fees if I'm using test mode? So firstly, you do not include any credit card fees when you're using test mode. When you're in test mode, uh, you're given a certain uh, type of credit card number. Uh, you don't input your own credit card numbers and customers can't input their credit card numbers for the order to go through. The, the payment will be declined, okay? So when you're using these test numbers and you're using test mode, uh, you're not gonna get any credit card fees. So in order to enable test mode, you go into your Shopify admin, you go down to settings, and then you go to uh, payment providers. Okay, and when you're in payment providers, you're gonna see all the payment uh, gateways that you have active. You're gonna need to deactivate any other payment providers that you have in order to use the bogus gateway, the test mode. So if you go down to third party providers, you're gonna see this This first one is called for testing bogus gateway. And this is what you use in order to uh, test your payments in Shopify. So once you do this, make sure you deactivate, like I said, all your other payment gateways that you have. Uh, you're also gonna to wanna to deactivate any autofill uh, apps that you have in your store. If you have any apps that auto fulfill orders, you're gonna to wanna to deactivate those when you're using the bogus gateway uh, because you can include fees for the shipping labels that are produced uh, for these test orders. So you're gonna to wanna to deactivate that. So after you've, you have deactivated uh, your auto fulfill apps and all your other uh, gateways that you have, you can then use the bogus gateway and activate it. You can test three different things. You can test uh, approved transactions, declined transactions, and a gateway failure. I'm also going to include a link where uh, it shows all the different credit card numbers that you can use. Since it is a test mode um, and a test payment gateway, you're not going to enter any of your own credentials. And if customers on your store, they're not going to be able to enter any of their payment details either. If they do, the payment is going to be declined. So you don't have to worry about that. Once you do create a test order uh, with the bogus gateway with the credit card numbers that are provided, uh, you're going to see the order pop up in your orders and it's going to say test uh, test order. OK, once you go into orders, if I had, you know, a plan activated, it would say uh, test order. So it doesn't create any real orders. You can't use real credit card numbers. Um, it's just simply there so you can test um any payments that you have and you want to test, oh, you know, I want people not to buy, you know, 50 of these products, etc. So you can test all those things out with the test mode. It's a really neat feature. Um, once you're done with it, once everything looks good to you, make sure you deactivate the bogus gateway and reactivate all your other payment gateways that you have, as well as reactivate any autofulfill apps that you have. Hope that helps and have a great day. Was this helpful? Ask a Shopify question now. AskQuesty.com.